Cutters, the grassy, unpopular opinions. Hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter David. Welcome you to another Cutter, the grassy, unpopular opinion. And this is number 173 in the list. Now, I do know what I want to do for number 175. So that topic will be saved for 175. I still have to do 174. So anyway, so you do a 173 has to do with two kind of a updated thing to two of my unpopular opinions. I spent numbers 25 and 56 of C duels on the same topic about administration size boo-boos because, you know, the administration's made several mistakes by punishing students for small things and not punishing students for big and vice versa, not punishing students for big things as well. So the last time I dealt with this was on St. Patrick's Day 2021 with number 56. So since I'm doing this on October 15, 2022, roughly how many months? 19 months after the next one. It, this is kind of an updated thing. Now, this is also a topic because of a YouTube, of a Reddit post 24 days ago from Good Order 6479 and this is what this person said. Every rewatch always leaves me shocked when it comes to how wild some of the Degrassians' angsty faces or rebellious rebellions were. I was shocked that when they let Spinner come back after the Ricky incident, he was remorseful, but I thought he was done for. And the person asked, which one student do you think should have, without a doubt, been given, have been expelled, but instead got a slap on the wrist? A lot of people got in on this. I don't remember if I got in on this. I don't think I did. I think I stayed quiet. Oh, no, I did. I talked about it. All right, so now one person makes a gigantic statement about certain people. I'll tell you what I said. I said expulsion at times just means that you're gone for the rest of the year and you lose that year on your academic profession. I think Spinner had to prove to Hasselakos that it was willing to be better. And besides, in season five finale, she took, it should have been season five premiere, sorry. She told him he was on short leash, and he did everything he could to get his friends back. But Biden said not pushing the issue. I guess I was asking about telling about the Rick uh, situation with Spinner. Okay, it doesn't matter all that. Yeah, but there were several scenes, and there were several times, several people that should have got punished because of their issues and all that. So before I get to those comments, I'm going to talk about the one side of the coin that students were punished for small reasons. It seemed to me that Radich kind of got a little bit too trigger happy sometimes with that. Now, if you watch the Breakfast Club episode, or Take On Me, as it's known as, in season three, you see the five people in there and for small crimes. And you're thinking Radich is probably just going power hungry, you know, Sean insulted him, so Radge had to throw the book at him. Well, of course, Radge is not known for constructive criticism and was upset when people criticized him. Hazel was for looking at an inappropriate site. Ellie for cutting classes, although she did that on purpose. Although it could be said she might have done, she might have been Radge's lackey. And then Jay, Jimmy and Toby were in trouble because Toby tried to change Jimmy's grades on the computer so that Toby can have a friend. And all of a sudden, you know, they had to do it in, in on the school's computers and Raj threw the book at them. But the simple fact is that, yeah, it seems small, but remember, this is the 2003. At that time, it was really hard. I mean, looking at bad sites online, ugh, you can't do that in any school. They try not to. You know, Ellie for cutting class and all that, people do that sometimes. And if, if it was because of her mom's problems, because, you know, her mom became an alcoholic once Ellie's dad left for the army. That's understandable. Like, yeah, but Toby and Jimmy, changing grades on a computer, on a school's computer, that's a security compromise position. And they are they got in trouble. And Sean, you know, stole stuff. Radish can't prove it because Radish doesn't have any proof. And so he insults Sean. I think he threw Sean in detention just as a way to get back at him for stealing the stuff. Fair enough. So, yeah, Radish was a little bit crusty around the edges, if you will. Crusty on the outside. Season four was when Raj basically had issues. He knew the there was bullying going on of Rick and all that, but little punishments was served and all that. 
I mean, yeah, Spinner got expelled, but because he had to, you know, tell Hatzalakos, who probably might have wanted Spinner to confess, who knows. And then you got yourself, like, you know, expelling Jay and all that. The zero tolerance thing that actually failed miserably because, you know, after season four, if they had zero tolerance that was pushed on them by the school board, Peter definitely would have been expelled for what he did. Many characters would have been expelled for what they did. So, one key example, well, yeah, one key example of someone getting more punishment than they should is season 13 with Maya, because Maya was upset because she was being cyber abused by Zoe, and then she writes a song about Maya, I mean, Zoe, and then Simpson suspends her and puts her in the road room for the rest of the year. Because of that, that's just pathetic. But in a way, I also think, well, it might be just Simpson being a dick and all that. But you got to also realize Simpson might have been under pressure because of Zoe's mom and, you know, Zoe being an actress, and Simpson could get the school in trouble. So he cowered to Zoe's mom and all that. He rarely punished Drew and Adam for stuff. Well, Audra told him that people need to be punished for hurting her two kids because they can't do no wrong, in her mind. And then, you know, um... With Tiny, because Tiny was defending Lola and Shay from somebody, and he gets a five-day suspension, and that was the catalyst for the Black Lives Matter thing in season uh, two of Next Class, which also was because of Frankie's racist poster and being not punished enough for her role. So, yeah, that was huge how Simpson messed up that up. So let's talk about the main plot of this Degrassi post about people who should have been punished. So anyway, Vesper Fox made a fantastic post talking about three things. The first thing Vesper said was about Alex, saying that she used her position as school council VP to help Jane Spinner set the whole thing up with the painting feathers. Then afterwards, it's like we're supposed to pretend she had no part in it. When Jay makes fun of everyone for wanting to talk to a council after Rick's death, Alex goes back, you may not to, need to, but I do. She feels like she's affected by Rick's death, but there's no mention of her part in the prank. And Spinner's, Spinner also doesn't name her when he goes to Hatzalakos, only himself and Jay. And the writers figured that they wanted to do more of Alex's character in the future, and it didn't work. Like, to that point, I tell Fesper, and I tell all of you that, you know, Spinner confessed because him and Jay set up the prank, and, you know, they set up Jimmy be shot in the bathroom and all that, because, you know, the gossips were going to get to Hatzalakos. I think Spinner didn't want to name Alex because he felt like Alex had nothing to do with the whole bathroom thing. And Jay didn't because he wanted to have a relationship with Alex, but failed. Fesper's second option was Hunter Spearher heading the online trolling and harassment of Maya Matlin, leading her to leave school temporarily. They dox and swat her, putting her in physical danger. He even has a comic on his computer depicting himself killing the cheerleaders. And then brings a gun to school after list, making a list of targets on the gaming club thing. They have to take him to a mental facility for his behavior. I'm assuming the school was informed that Hunter needed medical treatment as a reason for his absence. But I don't know if they were informed about the comic gun or the list. Well, Miles did tell his mom everything after Hunter crashes Miles' car. But Vesper doesn't know what role the school knew about Hunter's part in the lockdown. That's what gets me. I thought that Snake had found out about Hunter's problems and talked to him about a gun at school is not good because of Rick Murray, but allegedly not. Allegedly, his mom put him in a facility and all that. But I think that, you know, Mayor Hollingsworth would have told Snake some stuff and Snake would have had to grovel. So, yeah, Hunter should have been in trouble because, you know, the Gamers Club was was arrested was arrested from him was stolen from him because of the feminists so technically you know hunter had a reason to get mad but he didn't have to bring a gun to the school and then you know killing the cheerleaders i find that hard to swallow because not only are you killing people but one of the cheerleaders is your own sister or or i guess it was after frankie got kicked off the team for not doing her part in digressing news so yeah and anyway, Zoe was straight up encouraging the creation and transmission of child pornography, season 14, I guess. Seeing as how scandals there would have been had the news found out about child pornography in Degrassi, I'm surprised she wasn't expelled over it. 
Same for Peter. He taught, transmits a topless picture of Ma video of Manny over the school and gets six weeks of detention. And then he docks Darcy to that online creep and drags races with Sean, which leads to a hit and run. Peter doesn't get expelled and doesn't serve any time, jail time due to family connections. And it refl reflected poorly on how Sackle has actually allowed them to keep coming to school. I totally agree. The grassy nudes, like Zoe wasn't expelled. The police investigated her, mind you, and told her to do community service because maybe then the judge will give her a slap on the wrist. Yeah, and I guess they were trying to deal with that storyline because, you know, Degrassi was fav was rumored to be off the air and then, you know, back on. So, yeah, so Zoe only got community service instead of jail sentence, which Zoe doesn't like, but it just is what it is. I think her being an actress, people are just like blinded by that. And then, you know, Peter with the whole thing with Darcy. Darcy and Manny. It's like, this creep put Darcy and Manny's life, both at both of their lives are danger, and he doesn't get much. He's lucky his mom's the principal at Degrassi. Otherwise, he would have been expelled for good. And Hansel Ackles should have done something. Because every principal in Degrassi has their faults, and Hansel Ackles' biggest fault was not punching Peter. Why? I know a mother's love is unconditional sometimes, but this is just like pathetic. Yeah, and you know, with the whole drag racing thing, well, Peter got lucky because Sean hit the pedestrian, so technically Sean was the bad guy. Anyway, so yeah. Someone said sorry for what she did to Maya in season 13. Yeah, Maya got more in trouble for writing that song. And someone actually said, because Maya did it on school grounds, most schools don't get involved with things done off school property and away from any school function. They're to teach kids, not be their parents. And to that point, I say, yeah, that's pretty much why Radich didn't throw the book at Rick in season four. He could have suggested to Rick to leave the school, but Rick would not have allowed it to happen. I mean, the incident with Terry happened off school grounds, so what could Radich do? And besides, it was probably a he said, she said philosophy too. But yeah, Maya did it on school grounds, but it was just a song. And all of that. That's just pathetic. So yeah, definitely. I mean, Maya got really, got really trashed and all that in season 13, thanks to Zoe. All that. Yeah. With the whole Gamer Club and the feminist thing, people were talking about the Gamer Club should have been expelled, but Hunter was only prohibited from computers for a short time. And then Samsoni says, the Gamer Club should have and would have been facing serious charges over a swatting incident. Forget expulsion. They probably would have finished their year out in juvie. And then Samsoni said, then again, knowing Maya's mom, she probably said, oh, I don't think we need to get the police involved in this. Yeah. And anyway, even though Hunter's dad was the mayor, that could have been huge. And then Sawcat said, I think it was more of Maya not wanting to go through a trial. That would have been too much for her to deal with. Even though Hunter's dad was able to get him a deal, it could have been worse. That look on Hunter when he could have faced Juby said it all. His mom gave him a dose of reality. Yeah, it was just terrible with the swatting and all that. Serious crime and all that. Anyway, it was terrible. Now, a lot of people said Peter's story was terrible and all that. So, anyway, yeah, one person said sick. He should have been expelled for bullying someone until his death. What happened to the zero tolerance? And I said, Sig was a jilted lover who wanted Maya and wanted to get rid of Cam. How about we go after each jilted lover in Degrassi history and expel them? Not too many people left. Besides, Sig didn't know Cam was on the cusp of suicide. So, yeah, there's a lot of angry birds, if you will, within the comments. 
So yeah, the punishment issues were huge. I mean, well, let's go back in the season. Season one, Spinner got the biggest problem because Spinner mooned the school during the basketball game because he took Jimmy's AD. He gave Jimmy, well, he gave Jimmy his ADD pill, Spinner's ADD pill, so that Jimmy could perform better in basketball, which actually failed because he hurt his own teammate to make a winning shot. And he got kicked off the team. Spinner was in trouble with Raj for winning the school, and since Spinner didn't tell Raj about why he missed his dose and were giving it to Jimmy, Spinner was forced to take his medication in front of Raj for a certain period of time. Season 2's punishment issues. I feel like Raj was kind of forcing Emma to apologize for everything. I mean, in the fight for your right. I mean, Emma had fault in this, and don't get me wrong, but the simple fact is it felt like Raj was trying to save his own butt. He didn't like Emma getting in his business. You know, that food fight over the Flyers and all that. He blamed the Flyers for everything. But how many people took the Flyers? Not too many people. So Emma was obviously upset and wanted free speech. So she said she'll give up her GMO foods crusade in exchange for free speech. And Raj threatens her with suspension, which she takes. Basically, I think she didn't want Raj to win. She basically, and she told about Raj's policies in front of the whole school. So Raj probably needed to control the situation. And then, you know, the Breakfast Club episode in Season 3, you know, Snake says they're all good kids. They all should be pun punished in a sense, but they're kicking themselves. Like, I get Snake's POV because Snake at the time was dealing with chemo for his leukemia, so he wasn't there. So he didn't know the full scope of everything. That I get. And then you got yourself Season 4 with the whole thing about Rick should not have been allowed back at school, but Raj says his hands were tied. But it was a deleted scene. It made Raj more of a villain than he normally should be. The simple fact is that, yeah, how many people were punished for bullying Rick and all that? Not too many people at that. And then, you know, the school was hit with a zero tolerance policy because, guess what? The whole bullying thing. Even though Rick brought a gun to the school, it was mentioned about the bullying and all that. I think they were trying to please Rick's parents. Although they probably would have destroyed Rick's parents with putting them in some kind of probation for the gun being easily accessible. I mean, how accessible was it? Very accessible. That's pathetic on Rick's parents' part. Well, but, yeah, the grass got zero tolerance, and then it just seemed to disappear the next year because, you know, Peter would have been in deep trouble for his distributing child pornography and all of that. And he just got detention? I thought Ghost didn't have the guts to expel him. He should have. She should have. She would have made herself look good in a sense. Uh, let's see, season six about the JT situation. Yeah, Emma got detention for inciting a riot. I thought she was suspended for a long time, but no, I guess not. I the and then Emma is upset that everyone wants to move on from JT's death, and Emma says, "I'm just ticked off. They think he doesn't exist. He does exist in a sense, but I mean, they blame Emma for overreacting, but Emma." At the trauma of having someone die steps from her house at a party that should never have happened. How would you feel if you were in that situation? And besides, I I forgot that at this point in Degrassi Unpopular Opinion 150, but the simple fact was Emma was was not internalizing as she did for with Rick. It took her a while to come out with the whole guilt about Rick. The JT thing was two weeks and she came clean and saying that, you know, I'm just mad about it, okay? Yeah, it's like, and they're mad at Emma for speaking her mind when she didn't want to be like the Rick situation and kept it internalized for months, an end? Seriously. So yeah, punishment issues were there. Season 7, Emma got made detention. She could have been suspended or expelled for her protest on Purple Dragon, but I think Hatzel Ackles understood the situation, and it was warranted. Yeah, Hatzel Eccles didn't help situation with um, Allie in season 9 for that topless photo. And in season 10, you know, they were, um, like, Mrs. Torres made Allie look like the victim, the, look like the perpetrator instead of Drew. You know, she was protecting Drew and made Allie look like the bad guy and forced Allie to sensitivity training or something like that. Protecting Drew. Ugh. My God. I wish Snake had told Audra to stick it 
stick the job where in her butt he's done and all that. He says, if you want me out, fine, I'm out. I don't need to deal with your bullshit. And then the whole Maya thing, yeah, Maya was in trouble for a song and all that. But Simpson missed the point of the situation. So he makes that fake apology. Maya's mom is buys it, buys the apology and says, we don't need to do anything. Are you crazy? Freaking crazy, man. And so he didn't get in trouble. And, of course, Simpson was worried about repercussions if he punched Zoe. So, yeah, he was looking over his own butt. And, unfortunately, he failed miserably. See, uh, see here. Uh, yeah, of course, Degrassi Nudes was the biggest boo-boo, in a sense. Because, simply put, you know, how come nobody got in trouble except for detentions for the student, for the cheerleaders and all that? Zoe got lucky because she got a plea deal in a sense, and she got a good lawyer. But, yeah, they should have been in deep trouble for all they did. All that. How did Sully get off? And let's not forget Grace, though, too. People forget that Grace had part to play with the creation of the website. How come they never found out about her? They they kept good secrets. And, you know, the punishment issues with the Hollingsworth kids, especially the Hollingsworth kids with Simpson. Miles set fire to the school. He was supposed to go to a boarding school, but he didn't. He was back at Degrassi. Frankie made a racist poster. She was only kicked off the volleyball team, and nothing came of it. Students were upset that Simpson didn't do anything about it. And Hunter with the whole gamer club thing and wanting to shoot people. And yet he was back at the school after a while, when he should have been expelled just for his own sake, in the sense. Simpson, I needed to gravel the Hollingsworth because Hollingsworth could have done bad things to Simpson, the school, and probably the school board. So, yeah, Simpson cowered and all that. And people say, well, you know, once you're principal, you can't be a pal to the students. You have to do administrative work more so than not. So I agree with that theory. So anyway, that's just how I feel. Boo-boos, boo-boos, more boo-boos. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond.